is of extreme aircraft in aviation history. They were called the X-planes, the X standing for experimental. The very first X-plane was appropriately named the X-1. In 1944, the United States decided to bite the bullet, really, and develop a specialized family of research airplanes, of which the X-1 was first, that would essentially use the sky as a laboratory and which would carry 500 pounds of recording instrumentation and at the same time would also radio very important values that were measured in flight down to ground stations. This marked the birth, really, of a remarkable family of airplanes that continues to the present day, the so-called X-series. The Bell X-1 is arguably the most famous pure research aircraft ever built. Bell Aircraft built three X-1 rocket planes for the primary purpose of breaking the sound barrier. For decades, traveling faster than the speed of sound, about 660 miles an hour at high altitude, had seemed an impossible task, hence the term barrier. It literally was seen by many as an impenetrable wall. This was really brought home in September 1946 when Britain's leading test pilot, Geoffrey de Havilland, the son of the founder of the de Havilland Company, was killed at about eight-tenths the speed of sound flying a new swept-wing tailless research airplane called the de Havilland Swallow. The airplane began to pitch violently out of control so rapidly that he could not control it, and within less than a second it had disintegrated and he was killed. This showed that the sound barrier had very real bite. In 1947, a young Air Force pilot named Chuck Yeager was about to bite back. It would happen at Muroc Air Force Base in California, about 80 miles north of Los Angeles. We know it now as Edwards Air Force Base. Robert Cardenas, another young fighter pilot, was officer in charge on the X-1 program, and he piloted the bomber that carried the X-1 aloft. I had professors from Caltech and MIT that were out there at Muroc. We had all sorts of uh, <laughs> people making recommendations, and one of them said, you know, really, we've seen stuff coming in from space explode, whether it was from heat or what, um, there could be an ultrasonic barrier out there that might just disintegrate or melt the aircraft. The test pilots and engineers listened politely to the experts and then got down to business. Bell Aircraft test pilot Chalmers Goodlin made the first powered flight in an X-1 aircraft in late 1946. But it would be Chuck Yeager who 10 months later would take the X-1 rocket plane to the speed at which it was meant to fly. Chuck is a human being, but when he gets in that seat and he locks that door, he becomes part of the machine. In my book, he's no longer a human. He, he's part of that, he melds in as part of that machine. Man and machine finally broke through the sound barrier in October of 1947. On the ground, observers heard the crack of a sonic boom. Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager and the X-1 had just launched a new era of supersonic flight. Chuck was the X-1, period. That was it. And I really don't know if anyone else could have done it. High air speeds are described in Mach numbers using a formula named after an Austrian physicist, Ernst Mach. The speed of sound is Mach 1, and Yeager had reached Mach 1.06 on that historic flight. Later generations of X-1 aircraft would fly twice that speed. In 1953, Chuck Yeager took one of them to Mach 2.44. Many more X-planes would follow the X-1, but none would provide more crucial research data than the X-15. rocket-powered X-15 aircraft flew 199 flights from 1963 to 1967. Far beyond supersonic, these research planes ushered in the era of hypersonic flight, the term for speeds greater than Mach 5. We had a 57,000-pound thrust rocket engine that was completely throttleable, the first of its kind, and you had tremendous problems in simply making this a reliable propulsion system. Now, once we did, 
All speed and altitude records very quickly were eclipsed by this airplane. It went out and immediately took us in a, in a piloted sense to Mach 4, Mach 5, Mach 6. As rocket planes like the X-1 and X-15 made amazing progress pushing the limits of speed, they paved the way for a new top secret aircraft that to this day inspires awe, the SR-71 Blackbird. In 1967, one of the X-15 set a speed record for manned flight in a winged aircraft, exceeded only by the space shuttle. Extreme aircraft will return on Modern Marvels. Cloaked in secrecy, two American spy planes, the U-2 and the SR-71 Blackbird, made their mark on history during the Cold War.